A very good welcome and happy Mother's Day. It's a great day, a day of celebration across the whole across the whole world for mothers and for children that are celebrating their mothers. To God be the glory who gave the woman the opportunity to be a life carrier, to nurture and nourish life. The mother is the only gate of entrance into this world. And I know this day comes with a lot of celebration for them that have their mothers alive. Buy her a card, celebrate her, love her, cherish her when you still have her but for us who have lost our mothers i know it's a day that is mixed with a lot of reactions mixed with a lot of pain mixed with a lot of anxiety mixed with a lot of loneliness it brings to remembrance the things that i went through when i lost my mother i was an angry girl i lived an isolated life i lived blaming and you know angry or with everyone even with god himself i wanted to know the greatest enemy when you have lost your mother is anger. Anger is the greatest enemy that you need to take on before it masters on you. Death is an appointment. Only God knows when each one of us live at the face of this earth. So don't blame yourself for things that you didn't do to your mother. Don't blame or beat yourself below the belt that if you could have done A, B, C, D, maybe she would not have died. I kept on, you know, uh, blaming myself, thinking that if I had an opportunity to take her to a good hospital, maybe I could still be having her even up to date but I came to understand that it is appointed for a man who wants to die and God is the only one who has the days of each one of us. The other thing is that I lived in denial. I didn't believe that my mother was dead. I kept on calling her. One day I called her and you know what Safaricom told me? Mteja wanambari unayopiga hapatikani kwa sasa. I became so angry with Safaricom because of telling me that my mother is Mteja. You know what? I struggled with denial. I would walk to town seeing mothers or women walking like my mother. Then I would follow after them thinking that she is the one only to be there in frustration realizing that she is long gone. I want to encourage somebody. Trust God that he will bring you to a place of acceptance. The greatest victory and miracle when you lose a mother or a child is the acceptance that for sure they are not there. May the Holy Spirit help you. May God help you to come to the point of acceptance. Then the other thing is that I suffered loneliness. I did not want to connect with people that had their mothers alive. I felt people and had people talking about their mother and I thought maybe they are doing that intentionally to hurt and wound me because my mother was in the grave. You know what? God has given us the Holy Spirit to help us walk with him in the times of of loneliness. Trust God that he will give you a friend who can be able to walk with you through that particular journey. I am forever grateful one to my husband for walking with me in that journey and coming up with scriptures that would encourage me in my time of loneliness. Thanks so much to Pastor Lydia Kemafi for calling, coming to Mombasa, coming to Nakuru when we were in Nakuru and holding my hand and walking with me. Look for somebody who can walk with you in this journey of loss. It is not yet over. Do not allow yourself to begin dying because you have buried a loved one. Anytime you bury a loved one, if you are not careful, you begin a process of dying. My prayer to you is connect with people that can be able to give you life because God intends you to continue living, that you can take care of yourself and many other people that are looking up to you. May the Lord richly bless you. May you know that we serve celebrate you together even as much as our mothers are in the grave. There are many other mothers you can look up to and celebrate them. May God richly bless you.